Well, hello YouTube, it's your girl Jane coming at you with another video. And as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be all about BDK. So if you are interested in the House of BDK, if you've never heard of the House of BDK, then this is the video for you because I have a nice buying guide for you guys. I have eight full bottles and I have the whole discovery set right here, which I'll get into. But if you guys are interested in seeing what BDK has to offer and what my thoughts are, then go ahead and just keep on watching. Alright y'all, so first things first, stop what you're doing, stop, and leave me your send of the day down below. I would love to know what you guys are wearing today or tonight whenever you are watching this video. Also, if you are new to my channel, hello again, my name is Jeanne welcome and if you are returning thank you so so much for clicking back onto another video i truly truly appreciate you guys' support so if you have not already make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more videos from moi now let's hop into this buying guide because you guys this house is one that slowly crept up on me in 2020 and then now i'm just obsessed now every single set in this collection is not my favorite how Ever. They do have some really nice scents and I'm here to tell you what I would wear, what I would recommend these scents for, etc. So let's hop into today's video. Now I'm going to be completely transparent and let you know that BDK has sent me some bottles and they also sent this discovery set and I've purchased fragrances myself. This video is not sponsored, they don't even know that I'm making this video, but I really wanted to let you guys know what my thoughts were on the BDK house and I also wanted to give you guys my opinion on the fragrances because there are some scents that I like more than others, but there are also some scents that I just don't like at all and I want to tell you guys why like why they didn't work for me and you know all that good stuff so this video is going to be a long one get you a drink get you a snack whatever you want to do because I really want to go into detail about the fragrances that I haven't talked about before and I'm gonna just briefly go over the bottles that I have talked about all right so with all that being said I'm gonna hop into this discovery set first of all I absolutely love this presentation it's very sleek and minimal it's thin but you get two mil samples and they come in this compartment here you have BDK on this side and then you have the name of the fragrance so I have tested out every single one of these fragrances and I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on how the fragrance smells how it wears so the first fragrance I'm gonna start off with is Rouge Smoking I'm just gonna go on the order that's here and then I have a specific order that I have my full bottles in and this fragrance is one that I actually purchased a full bottle of back in 2020 when I purchased Passe Soir, which I'll talk about later and I already knew what this fragrance smells like I already knew what the fragrance wore like but I still sprayed it to remind myself because it has been about two years since I've had that fragrance and this scent to me is one that is a pretty unique fragrance I feel like Rouge Smoking and Gris Charnel are the two scents that kind of put BDK on the map and this fragrance it's very nice but on my skin it just turns away that I don't like so I would describe this fragrance as a sweet fruity cherry fragrance it has a little bit of a woody touch has a little bit of a smokiness as well I would say it has an ambery effect but to me on my skin it kind of smells like root beer with cherry like a cherry root beer and I'm not much of a fan of like smelling like root beer and I think it's because of the cherry liqueur note it's kind of boozy so it kind of gives that like boozy like root beery type of vibe and I like it but I don't love it and that's something that I've noticed about this fragrance it's a scent that I like but I don't love like I said overall this fragrance is nice I do like it it has kind of a powdery touch to it as well but it's not really my style I know a lot of people who love this fragrance and we have similar taste but on my skin with my body chemistry it just didn't work out for me this fragrance in particular has decent longevity I believe it lasted about like six to eight hours on my skin but once that like six to eight hour mark came I had to like dig my nose into my skin to actually smell the fragrance and that was something I kind of didn't like you know I really didn't love the fragrance so I just kind of was like you know what this fragrance isn't for me but I did keep trying out the brand and now I have eight bottles of fragrances and I absolutely love them so keep trying out fragrances from houses especially if you don't like a certain one you'll definitely come across one that you enjoy and with this house in general Rouge Smoking wasn't for me but a lot of gourmand 
gourmand lovers love it and I love gourmand so I thought it would be perfect for me but it just didn't work out so that was Rouge Smoking. Now this next fragrance is called Nuit de Sable I think but this fragrance is one that really took me by surprise. I thought I wasn't gonna like this fragrance but it ended up being pretty decent for me. So this fragrance is a woody aromatic fragrance. It has a little bit of a spice to it as well. And I really love the musky touch that's in the scent. But what really gets me is that spice. I love like warm and spicy fragrances and that's what this is. It's very nice. Now I can see a man wearing this fragrance more than I can see a woman just because this fragrance kind of leans a little bit more masculine. But I can see a woman wearing this scent and you know being very confident and sexy. Like this is kind of like a sexy mysterious type of fragrance in my opinion for a woman but for a man this is like you know a scent for his date nights for you know not on the town and all that other good stuff so on the opening this fragrance opens up with a blast of spices so you get some nutmeg and you get some cardamom which I absolutely love and then as this fragrance dries down you get some rose and then in the base you get some more nutmeg you get some tonka beans and you get some musk so again this fragrance is a nice spicy fragrance it also gives me a little bit of a woody touch as well I believe this fragrance has ambroxan which kind of gives that like you know musky quality as well like I said overall this fragrance is nice it did surprise me because I didn't think I would like it but that nutmeg really comes through and I love that like warm spiciness that it gives. The cardamom kind of gives it that like fresh spicy like aromatic type of touch but I think it works very well in this scent. If you like those types of fragrances I think you would absolutely love this scent. Again I do personally think that this is a gender fluid fragrance but it is leaning a little bit more masculine versus Rouge Smoking to me is a little bit more feminine leading personally. I haven't smelled Rouge Smoking on a man so I'm not 100% sure how that will work out but I know a lot of gentlemen who love that fragrance and they love gourmands. So I think Rouge Smoking is a nice gender fluid fragrance but personally I think it leans feminine. And then this fragrance Nuit de Sable, I think this one is a little bit more on the masculine side but it's a very nice scent overall. So if you are looking for a nice spicy scent then this is definitely a great option and it has a really good performance. Whew, y'all, I did not think it would be hard to film, but I think I have a little cold and then being pregnant, like not being able to catch my breath, this is tough, but we're still gonna get through this video. <laughs> so this next fragrance is from their kind of like vacation-y, salty line, and this scent is called Sel de Ar Argent. And please help me if I'm saying these things wrong, okay? But this fragrance is one that is very, very, very Fresh. So if you like fresh scents, then this is definitely the way to go. This scent is a salty, musky, citrusy fragrance. I get a little bit of like a woody touch, a little bit of sweetness from like some amber or something like that but nothing too crazy. This is mainly a salty, musky fragrance. I think this scent is perfect for if you're going on a vacation, if you like going to the beach, if you live near a beach, or if you like those salty fragrances, this is definitely the way to go. So on the top, you get some salt and some bergamot, and you get some grapefruit, so you get a lot of citruses with that salt. The saltiness is definitely prominent when you first spray the fragrance. And then in the mid, you get some orange blossom and some ylang ylang. I think the orange blossom kind of adds to the citrusy quality, and the ylang ylang kind of sweetens up the fragrance but this scent is not overly sweet whatsoever. I definitely can see a man wearing this scent. Actually, I can see this being his like daytime signature scent, especially if you're on the coast. So if you live near water, if this is your vibe, then I think this will be amazing. And then in the base, there's some cashmere and some musk. So for me personally, this isn't the type of scent that I like. I'm not really a fan of overly salty scents. And to me, this scent is very salty. It's kind of to the point where it feels like you know I'm wearing sand or I'm wearing salt but it's citrusy and it's kind of calmed down by the florals in the fragrance but for me personally this is not the scent for me especially being pregnant like the saltiness is not really vibing with me right now but there are other fragrances that I have in my collection that are kind of salty that aren't you know bothering me but I think it's something about the molecule notes that are in the base that just not they're not really sitting with me well so this fragrance I think would be perfect again for someone who lives on the coast someone who likes to be by the water especially in the summertime like this is a very refreshing scent but for me personally it did not work out <laughs> All right, next we have French Bouquet. And French Bouquet is one that to me was one that I had high hopes for, but it just didn't, it just didn't happen. I thought I would like it, but <laughs> I didn't. And I know this video sounds like I'm complaining, but I'm not. I'm just happy that I have the two mil sample and not a full bottle because that would be a problem. To me, this scent is very matronly. And 
I don't mean that in a bad way. It smells very nice. It smells very elegant and sophisticated, but it just reminds me of your white diamonds, your Chanel number no. five, that aldehydic type of scent. And for me personally, that's not my jam. I'm not here for it. I do love to smell Chanel number no. five, but I don't. I don't wear that fragrance. I just like to smell it. And so this fragrance kind of gives off that same like old money energy that sophisticated energy that more mature vibe and there's nothing wrong with that there are plenty of people who love those type of scents to me it smells like money <laughs> so if you want to smell like money and you don't mind aldehydic fragrances then french bouquet is the way to go so to me this fragrance is aldehydic it's kind of fresh it's floral and it has a little bit of a woody touch to it as well i get a slight bit of sweetness but it's nothing too overpowering at all to me mainly this is just a floral aldehydic woody fragrance and I think it smells nice but again it's not my style it's not my type of scent and I can definitely see someone who is an older woman wearing this fragrance now when it comes to men I've never really smelled an aldehydic fragrance on a man so I wouldn't be able to say if this scent will be gender fluid or not but you can wear whatever you want so if you enjoy aldehydic fragrances and you you know like more masculine scents then check this fragrance out because you know you might love it but personally I think this fragrance reminds me of an older woman this scent is a bit more feminine to me because I associate it with you know Chanel number no. five white diamond stuff like that so to me, this is more of a feminine scent. So on the top, you get some aldehydes and you get some bergamot. So you get a little bit of a citrusy touch in the opening. And then as this fragrance dries down, you get some rose, some orange blossom, and some jasmine. So those florals are very prominent in the fragrance, especially the rose and jasmine, in my opinion. And then in the base, you get some sandalwood, you get some violet, and you also get some tonka beans. So to me, that kind of makes me feel like that's where the sweetness is coming from, but it's not overly sweet at all. This fragrance is pretty powdery because you get that violet and that tonka beans in the base so overall again I think this fragrance is a nice scent it's very sophisticated it's very elegant so if you're looking for that type of fragrance or if you're looking to give someone this type of fragrance this is definitely a nice option I absolutely love the BDK bottle so you can't go wrong with any of these bottles but personally French bouquet just was not for me <laughs> now the next fragrance I want to talk to you guys about is actually one of their newer launches and this is called ambre saffrano I think this scent is very nice. If you guys don't know, I love saffron and fragrances. I love deep, dark, warm, spicy scents. I also love gourmands as well, but I love the like woody, warm, spicy scents. And this is absolutely stunning. However, comma, this fragrance to me leans a little bit more masculine. I would say it is gender fluid. I have worn it, so you know, a woman can wear it. But to me, this is a little bit more masculine. So if you enjoy more masculine scents, then I think this is definitely the way to go. So on the top, you get some black pepper and you get some saffron. So you get a lot of spice. And that saffron is very, very prominent. So this scent is not for the faint of heart. And this is not a fragrance to overspray because this is definitely a beastly fragrance. And then in the mid, you get some leather and you get some rose. Again, that leather is very prominent. It's very in your face. It's not abrupt or screwed screechy but it is very prominent and to me it's like a smooth leather like a new car but when it's with that saffron it can come off a bit masculine that's why I associate it with more of a masculine scent and then in the base you get some oak some sandalwood and you get some vanilla so to me the vanilla adds a little bit of sweetness to the fragrance but not too much this scent really stays woody spicy slightly floral but overall like leathery and so for me how this fragrance wears is very dark it's very deep it's heavy it's very long lasting which I absolutely love so this is a fragrance especially if you like more feminine fragrances that I would layer with like another scent like vanilla 28 or something to kind of sweeten it up give it a little bit more of a feminine vibe but this scent is definitely sexy it's mysterious for whoever wants to wear it and I think this fragrance is one of their longest lasting scents they have some long-lasting fragrances in their collection, and this one is definitely a long-lasting fragrance. So Ambre Saffrano is a nice option if you're looking for a nice woody spicy fragrance and you want something different than Nuit de Sable. Now this scent is one that I was going to buy a long time ago and I just haven't pulled the trigger but I'm going to get it. I'm going to buy it. Now Wood Jasmine stole my heart when I got this sample. I was like wow. This fragrance is a nice fruity woody balsamic fragrance and i get a lot of sweetness from the fragrance especially in the dry down it's so beautiful this is a bold fragrance so i wouldn't say this is a feminine scent or 
you know this is a very girly scent no it's definitely bold in your face it's very gender fluid i definitely see a man or woman wearing this scent if you're the type of person who likes ultra feminine scents then this fragrance will not be for you however if you enjoy gender fluid fragrances deeper darker smokier scents then wood jasmine is a perfect option so on the top you get some fruity notes you get some pear and some plum very juicy very seductive very sexy and then as this fragrance dries down you get some jasmine and you get some rose i think they do jasmine and rose perfectly and then in the base you get some vanilla you get some peru balsam and you get some incense so that's where that smokiness is coming from the patchouli kind of adds an earthier touch and that really gives me a nice sexy sensual vibe so if you don't like patchouli and fragrances you won't like this scent but i would say overall it's like a woody sweet fruity you know smoky scent it's very nice i really really like this scent i cannot wait to get a full bottle and this is also a fragrance that is very long lasting so if you're looking for a beastly scent especially when it's getting colder outside this is definitely the way to go this scent took me by surprise a hundred percent i did not think i was gonna like this fragrance at all but i ended up loving it to the point where i have like a few sprays left in this sample now this scent is a nice citrusy woody creamy leathery fragrance it also has this musky quality to it that i really enjoy and you get some sweetness so this fragrance is very very nice it took me by surprise i'm typically not a leather lover but this fragrance is so smooth and like warm and i would also say creamy but like in a leathery way it's so so nice so in the opening you get a ton of citruses you get some pineapple some orange and some grapefruit so you get a lot of you know citruses you get that fruitiness from the pineapple but to me the pineapple is a little bit more on the tart side it's not really a juicy pineapple and then in the mid you get some pink pepper some suede and some sandalwood and to me i think the suede kind of comes off leathery that's why i think it's a little smoother a little creamier because it is a suede no, but I get kind of a leathery vibe from it so I would say it's kind of leathery and then in the base you get some cashmere and some vanilla and you also get some musk of course and to me the vanilla sweetens up the fragrance the cashmere and adds to that smooth well-rounded element to the scent and again like I said this fragrance is so beautiful this really took me by surprise and creme de cure and wood jasmine are like the two next fragrances I want to get from the house because they're very nice they're very fall winter appropriate they're really my style style and they're a little bit different than you know what I've been typically wearing and so I think it will add a little bit of a unique touch and kind of be a conversation starter especially for the house of BDK so creme de cure is a stunning please please don't be scared of suede or leather because I don't know it's something about the way BDK does it I really have been enjoying their like more heavier fragrances lately and last out of the discovery set we have oud abramad I think that's how you say it I don't know but this fragrance of course is a oud scent so so if you don't like oud, this won't be the same for you. So this fragrance is one that if you enjoy oud, you would absolutely love this scent. To me, I do enjoy oud. It just depends on how it's done for me to personally wear it. This fragrance, I think, is very gender fluid. However, it is leaning a little bit more on the masculine side. I could definitely see a man rocking this and a woman. But this gives me like Middle Eastern vibes. This gives me Dubai. This gives me money. Like if you want to smell like money, but like new money this smells like new money to me personally it's so timeless it's so classic but it does smell more modern so this fragrance is a warm spicy woody fragrance that's where that oud comes in you get a little bit of an ambery touch you get a little bit of sweetness as well so it's not too overpowering with the oud or the woodiness but it's definitely prominent and it's a note that really lingers throughout the fragrance and it's extremely long lasting so on the top you get a ton of spice you get some saffron and you get some ginger ginger for me saffron really overtakes the ginger you really get the oud and the saffron which is a very nice complimentary combo and then in the mid you get some cumin and some roast so to me cumin can kind of go like in the bo direction and not in a good way sometimes it can smell like you know like cooked onions but like your armpits <laughs> I know that's a bit much but I don't really like cumin and fragrances like that because of that reason right there that makes me feel uncomfortable like I don't want to smell a fragrance and smell like I don't smell good <laughs> like I'm naturally just 
smelling I don't I don't like that and then in the base you get some patchouli some oud of course you also get some guyac wood and some incense so you get a little bit of a smoky touch you get some patchouli as well so you get some earthiness the fragrance is very nice it's very deep it's very dark it's very rich it's rich in the sense of having a lot of depth to it it's not really a sweet fragrance at all I could definitely see a man wearing this like I said earlier it's very masculine I'm trying to you know picture a woman wearing this scent but I really can't maybe like a spray or two just and just leaving it at that but a man I could definitely see him you know spraying a few more sprays and smelling very nice and this fragrance is extremely long lasting when I wore this scent it lasted like 10 to 12 hours it does kind of settle down it doesn't project loudly the whole time but it's definitely there so with that being said this fragrance is very nice but it's not for me personally I can appreciate it and I'm so happy I was able to try it because it really piques my curiosity because of how you know deep and dark it seemed and it definitely is that so this fragrance is very nice for those oud lovers all right so now we're gonna get into the full bottles I've talked about 99% of these the only one I haven't talked about is the first one I'm gonna talk about and it's because I haven't really worn it often but lately I have been wearing it because of the weather switch and you guys this fragrance wow it's similar to Celle d'Argent but it's different <laughs> it is different it's not as salty it is still salty but it's not as salty and it has a little bit more of a sweet touch to it so I would describe this fragrance as a citrusy floral fragrance like it has some white florals in there and then this also has some sweetness it has a little bit of a woody touch it has this freshness and it has a nice aromatic quality so in the opening you get a ton of notes but the notes that I really get are the orange and the neroli the fig kind of stands out but it's not as prominent but it's there I really like the opening of this fragrance and how citrusy it is how uplifting it is neroli is a citrusy white floral it's very similar to orange blossom but to me personally it's a little sweeter and I really like that in the scent in the mid you get some eucalyptus some water notes some strawberry and you also get a very interesting note of immortelle and I love immortelle flower in fragrances I don't get much of it in here I get more of that watery touch and the aromatic quality comes from that eucalyptus which is very relaxing I just really find this scent to be enjoyable and then in the base you get some tonka beans some veteran you also get some musk I find that this scent has a salty touch to it I don't know if the water note is like a water salty water but I do get a salty green aspect from this fragrance very fresh and it's fresh and more of a green way I really like this scent though especially with the citruses and a little bit of fruitiness that it has in there it really is a balanced scent and I think that this fragrance is one that I can't over spray especially with being pregnant because my nose can't take all of that but it's a very pleasant scent especially on extremely hot days the scent doesn't last the longest I get about five to six hours of wear but this fragrance is nice especially if you like those fresh green aromatic citrusy scents you would definitely love this fragrance so this is citrus riviera and this is a very nice option from the house the next fragrance i'm going to talk to you guys about is one of my pretty girl scents okay this fragrance is so beautiful i talked about this fragrance in my pretty girl scents video so i'll link that video up in the eye in the sky if you haven't checked that out watch it after this one and this is bouquet de Hongrie. i absolutely love this scent this was actually one that i sampled and i had to get the full bottle because this scent is just bomb so this is your nice fresh sweet fruity floral you get a little bit of a musky touch you get a little bit of a woody touch as well overall this fragrance is stunning it's such a nice fruity floral it's so pretty it's so effortless it's literally like the girl next door in a bottle if you like to smell like the girl next door if you like to smell very feminine and effortless that's what this fragrance is right here so on the top you get some strawberry and you get some pear which I mean that's where the sweet fruitiness comes from and then in the mid you get some rose and some jasmine again BDK does that rose and jasmine combination so beautifully and then in the base you get some amber some cedar and some musk it's very nice it's very effortless it's very just I'm just gonna spray this on and just go about my day you don't have to think about it I could definitely see this being someone's signature scent especially if she likes a fruity floral with a little bit of a musky touch a little bit of a woody touch this is perfect so I'm not gonna go on and on about this but I absolutely love this fragrance it could last a little bit longer but I really like the fresh fruity uplifting vibe that this gives and I don't mind reapplying this scent all right so this next fragrance is literally literally 
my favorite sexy grown woman fruity floral that i own it's so unique i don't have anything like this in my collection and i'm so so happy to have this and this is actually my most used bdk fragrance in my collection and this is passissoire my memory card just got full so if this looks a little bit different don't judge me. So like I was saying, Passissoire was actually one of the first fragrances that I purchased from BDK. This and Rouge Smoking was what I got at first. But Passissoire, like this dent, y'all, it's a very nice dent. But this also is a scent that you have to spray liberally. Personally, because I want the full effect of the fragrance, okay? So this is a scent that I've talked about plenty of times on my channel, so I won't go into too much depth. This is a nice, sweet, fruity floral. It has a spice to it. It also has a little bit of a woody touch. You get some florals in there as well. It's so sexy. This has a very prominent quince note in this fragrance. The quince note is juicy. It's delicious. You get some ginger in this scent as well. I'm just such a fan. I'm such a fan, such a stan. And this definitely is a fragrance that I will keep in my collection forever. And this has made its way to my top 10 perfumes for a life. Okay, this is definitely in that list because I cannot be without this scent. I recommend this to everyone who's looking for a unique fruity floral, who's looking for something that's not too young or juvenile, who wants something sexy. I always recommend this fragrance because for one, you don't see many people with this scent. And for two, it's so sexy. I absolutely love this scent. So this is Passessoire and this is Bay. <laughs> This next fragrance is another feminine scent that I have in my collection. This is sexy. This is a sexy grown woman scent, okay? This is Tuberose Imperial. This is a creamy, buttery tuberose. Now in the opening, this fragrance is pretty heady in the opening, but as the scent dries down, it just becomes so creamy and delicious and beautiful, and I love it. So this is a very nice, sweet, white floral. It's kind of creamy. You get that tuberose. You also get some yellow floral, so it has some ylang in this scent. And you get a little bit of spice, so I'm so here for it. I absolutely love wearing this fragrance. I feel so grown up and sexy when I wear this scent. Mm, I just love it. Just love it. So you get some iris, some tuberose, and some jasmine in this fragrance. You also get some geranium. And then the best part happens, which is the base. You get some vanilla. You get some incense, some sandalwood, some cashmere. You just get all of the goods. So you get a little bit of smokiness. You get a little bit of a creaminess from the sandalwood. You get some sweetness from the vanilla it's just amazing this fragrance is so beautiful i love how the dry down is in the opening i'm not much of a fan of the scent i just like to let this dry down for about 15 minutes and then i go out and do what i want to do because i don't like the fragrance in the opening i don't like how heady the white florals are but like i said that tuberose becomes a little bit more creamy buttery more bloomed and the sweetness from the vanilla comes through and it's just perfect so this is tuberous imperial all right next we have this scent that kind of put bdk on the map this scent and rouge smoking put bdk on the map and this is gris charnel this fragrance was so loved that they came out with an extrite de parfum now this video is not going to be my head-to-head -head comparison that will be the next you know bdk fragrance video that i have these two wow like amazing beautiful i'm gonna tell y'all now this is literally the more intense version of this if you thought this was too airy too cute you wanted some more depth that's what this scent is and they're both extremely gender fluid mm, this fragrance is so good i just love how Grey Charnel smells. I also have the hair perfume for Grey Charnel and it just smells incredible. It's been so rainy this past week here in Arkansas and I have been grabbing both of these. Daytime it's been this one, nighttime it's been this one. This is now my new combo. So this fragrance is, oh, these are just very nice. This is your spicy, powdery, slightly aromatic fragrance i also get some sweetness from this scent i get this like cold but warm vibe at the same time it's so weird this fragrance has cardamom fig this also has some vanilla of course and yeah i'm just here for it i'm gonna give you guys a comparison video and i'm gonna go more in depth but these two right here baby stunning i absolutely love them both the next fragrance i'm gonna talk to you guys about i have a full video on so i'm not gonna go into depth about this scent y'all go 
ahead and check it out. This is Velvet Tonka. You guys, this fragrance is so beautiful. This is a nice powdery, woody, slightly spicy scent. It's very heavy on the Tonka beans. So if you like Tonka beans, this is so beautiful. I love this scent. I got this when it was hot outside. I think it was last year, like last summer. The end of, I think, yeah, it was the end of last summer. Going into fall, but it was still very hot. And this fragrance was so beautiful. I haven't worn this in a while. And I'm going to take this downstairs and put this on my June tray. Because I need something a little bit warm and sexy in my collection downstairs. So, yeah, this fragrance is beautiful. I love how it wears. Again, I'm going to leave my review up in the eye in the sky. So, if you want to see my full thoughts on this, go ahead and check that video out. Because I went into so much detail about this scent here. This is Velvet Tonka. And last but certainly not least, we have one of my favorite scents out of the collection. I'm going to give you all my ranking at the end because I've been talking a lot. But this is Tobacco Rose. <sighs> y'all, I love me rose fragrances. I love gourmands. I love warm spicy scents. This has it all. It has it all. It has it all, y'all. This fragrance was one that I could not stop talking about this past winter. This fragrance is so beautiful this is your warm spicy tobacco scent you get some chocolatey nuances in there you get rose of course it's sweet it's delectable it has a little bit of a fruity touch to it because it has this very nice ripe plum note in the opening it's so beautiful like i cannot get over it so like i said you get some plum you get some rose of course you get some tobacco of course this scent just overall is just a head turner this is a scent that is a conversation starter this is the fragrance that if you want to impress someone wear this i know a lot of gentlemen like to wear this fragrance and a lot of women including myself like to wear this fragrance so i would say this is extremely gender fluid now do not over spray this because you will choke somebody out I spray about three to four sprays and typically I'm like a 20 plus sprayer and that tells you a lot about this scent It's extremely long-lasting. It projects beautifully again Like I said, I literally spray like three to five times That's it and even that might be a lot for some people Some people might even like two sprays and call it a day, but for me, I'm a little extra So I like to spray a little bit more. This has every element of a deep scent for fall and winter that I want. It's so sexy. It has just enough sweetness to be like perfect for a woman. It has just enough depth and smokiness to be good enough for, you know, a more masculine liking fragrance lover. So tobacco girls, so beautiful. Y'all better believe that y'all will be seeing this more when it gets colder outside because I just absolutely love this scent. It's so nice, so beautiful. So that's all I have for you today. If you have made it to this point, kudos to you you are a real one i just really wanted to get this video out to you guys because there are so many fragrances from the house of bdk and there are so many people who don't know about bdk or you know who don't know what they have to offer and they have so much to offer so if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure you like this video down below so i know that you guys enjoyed it so if you are new to my channel i do quiz you guys at the end of all of my videos just to see who's been rocking me until the end or whatnot and and for today's video, I want you guys to leave me the book emoji. I hope you all enjoyed today's video because I had so much fun making it and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one.